What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy Killer Pizza here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update video on three of these movies I picked up for my horror collection. Now, the first one I found, I found this one yesterday while I was looking around at Walmart. I found this at the very, very bottom of their $5 Blu ray bin, but uh, Victor Crowley. I actually had no idea upon buying this that this is a four movie series. I never heard of this before, but it's got uh, Kane Hodder in it and looks just kind of like a throwback slash or something right up my alley. You got a lot of selections from award shows, awards for best best gore, best practical effects. So, Return to His Swamp. Looks pretty cool. I'll let you guys know how it is. Now here's a classic I've been neglecting on buying. This is a must for any horror collection. I'm sure everybody's heard of it. This is the very original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This was banned, I believe, in England and all types of other countries and places and theaters in the States, I, I would imagine. But uh, surprisingly not like as gory as you would think. But I guess for the time that came out, I mean, still gives me the spooks. I mean, look at that guy there. Gunnar Hansen. Yeah, one of Toby Hooper's best movies. Then last but not least, I was really looking forward to getting the Silent Night, Deadly Night Collector's Edition 2-disc set by Scream Factory, Shout Factory. But this is pretty much, pretty much a movie about Billy Chapman, little kid who's seen his parents get murdered by a Santa Claus or whatnot on Christmas Eve, so... When Christmas Eve or Christmas comes back around, I'm not sure if it was Christmas, Christmas Eve, but he pretty much just goes on a killing spree. Very controversial movie back when it came out because he's depicting Santa Claus, but I mean, I really like it. I mean, this album, this cover work is pretty sweet too. He knows when you've been naughty. So yeah, this is a good one you can watch anytime around Halloween, Christmas. Yep. So that's it. Just three movies that I picked up recently. And uh, let me know if you have any suggestions on anything else I should look into. Mostly 70s or 80s gore, as you guys know. Been kind of looking into some exploitation films lately, but it's all uh, hit or miss with a lot of these titles. But yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe.